everything in my life, all dynamics in my life, they use as a tool to try to break me. Everything. You can't break the unbreakable, because I ain't breaking them. The issue is, when I, in October of 2020, right after I returned from my second surgery in two weeks, they had put me in the PSU unit, which this call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded, which is reserved for the state's most severely mental ill inmates, not me. I have never had any mental health problems, nor have I been diagnosed with problems. And that is the requirement to be housed in that PSU unit. Well, while I was there, dirty ass officers who told me if I just pled guilty and confess even falsely on my RICO case that they'll move me back up out of there and put me where I'm supposed to be. They used that unit in order to try to break me and get me to provide a false confession on my RICO case. It was the old school good cop, bad cop routine socked me up into a confession. But in this new era of Big Brother with cameras, it's on camera that officers came to my cell for no reason. Didn't even work in the unit at all. Had no reason being there, but yet come to my cell and told me, hey, Scoops, if you just break and you tell the truth, take a uh, confess on your ego case, we'll move you out of here tomorrow. Just confess, confess. We don't care if it's false. So they used that unit for six months on me as torture uh, into a false confession. And I wouldn't do it, so they kept me there for six months. You know, and then uh, uh, they hindered, I mean, they, they, they opened my legal mail five times. After, because my attorneys on my RICO case filed to expose the PSU, uh, the PSU housing, and then uh, it went to get the Sacramento Bee got a hold of it, and they wrote an article about it, and my legal mail started getting uh, illegally opened from there on out. But before that, for a year before that, not one time was it opened. And only after we filed our, our emotions in court to get me moved out of that unit and put back where I was before. Uh, and then the Sacramento Bee got a hold of it and wrote their stories. Now all of a sudden my legal mail starts getting opened illegally. You know, the legal mail is supposed to be opened at my cell door in front of me. Not read, but inspected at my cell door. You know, and uh, we filed in the court on it, and the judge just swept it under the rug. And yet, in her orders two years ago, she said she laid out the way it's supposed to be done when it comes to the legal mail. So she let them violate her own orders. That's a double layer protection, basically. Her orders, and then the way the law is written for legal mail. And then they want to torture me in the PSU for six months into a false confession. Last month, the judge in my case had issued an order to show, I mean, an order for an uh, evidentiary hearing. And within her language on the order, she had written that I have no rights and no, there's no law binding issues to be housed or to be transferred to a different pretrial detention center, implying on the record and misleading the record that I'm already in a pretrial detention center when this is a this is a corrupt state prison for the convicted in the state prison cases, you know, state cases. This is not a pretrial detention center. If you look at her orders, you'll see uh, when she implied that I'm, you know, that we are requesting a transfer to a different pre-trial uh, detention center. That implies that I'm already in one. She is intentionally misleading the record and lying on the record. 
This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. And then the judge Mueller goes on to say that, oh, as long as Mr. Daniel could enter a plea, then his uh, Sixth Amendment uh, right to counsel, right to confer with counsel confidentially, is not being uh, uh, impeded at all. So entering a plea of guilty or not guilty, you know, that's that's like a 3% part of the case. I can't even participate in my defense. I can't, I cannot uh, uh, review discovery in my defense. I haven't seen no evidence at all in my case. All legal visits at this prison has been canceled. I get one legal call per seven days on a federal RICO case that has a death penalty on the table. I get one legal call per seven days that is preset for 45 minutes and it's not confidential. How How is that uh, fair, honest, and a just pre-trial process? You know, this is not a pre-trial prison. This is a post-conviction, corrupt state prison, and I'm housed at fighting a federal death penalty on a RICO case. This place is not set up for pre-trial status or pre-trial proceedings at all. Everything in my life, all dynamics in my life, they use as a tool to try to break me. Everything. You can't break the unbreakable. I ain't breaking.